Here we are at Chevychev's theorem. Uh, this is uh, part two, and here's the theorem stated again if you need to see it in our little formula here and a des description of the theorem. And of course, we were looking last time at this example uh, in Mobile, Alabama. It has been found that the mean commuting distance in miles per week is 72 miles with a standard deviation of 4.7 miles. And here we ask the other question. At least 50% of the Mobilians drive how many miles? In other words, we're given the percentage, but we don't know the interval. And we know that the mean number of miles that they drive is 72, and sigma is 4.7. That's the standard deviation. And we go down here to look at the situation. Here's our mean right here, and we don't know this interval. We're looking for A and B term on the number line to see what, uh, how many miles these uh, uh, drive it. Uh, in other words, how many miles do at least 50% of the people drive? I'm sorry, I'm stumbling over my words here. And now, one of the things we can do is we can find this distance from here to here in terms of k, standard deviations. And the way we do that is we take our old formula and uh, we call it p, percent. That's the percent. And we solve for k. When we do that, we get k equals the square root of 100 over 100 minus p. So I can put in my 50% here and when I do that, of course, I get 100 over uh, 50, which is 2, square root of 2, which equals 1.4 standard deviations. So now we do know k. We know the number of standard deviations. So our picture now looks like this. 1.4 standard deviations this way, and minus 1.4 standard deviations this way. And we need to find the number of miles. I'm going to put these up here, how far it is from here in miles. Because then I can just add it to 72 and subtract it from 72. Again, we use unit conversion to get the distance in miles. I know it's 1.4 standard deviations. And I know that for one standard deviation is 4.7 miles. So I set it up this way so standard deviations cancel. And I end up with 1.4 times 4.7, which is about 6.6 .6 miles. And that changes the picture again. There we have it. This distance is 1.4 standard deviations, 6.6 .6 miles, the same this way. So I just add the 6.6 .6 to 72 to find it, to get this number. Oops, sorry. And then subtract 6.6 .6 from 72 to get that number. When I do that, I get a, an interval of 65.4 miles to 78.6 miles. So my conclusions. Conclusion. At least 50% of the commuters in Mobile travel between 65.4 and 78.6 hours per week. And not hours, it's miles, isn't it? I made a mistake there. Let's change that to miles per week. Okay, did I get the copy of the right? 78.6, that's right. There we go. Okay.